I started to play paddle in 2010 and it was only in Spain. And right now it's everywhere. I'm really, really happy to be in this event because also it's a new thing. And I think that it's really, really different and it's going to be awesome for sure. I started to play paddle in 2010 and it was only in Spain. And right now it's everywhere. Like I think that uh, we need just time to build more courts, to have more coaches. At the end, the amateur or the professional, we need coaches to, to learn how to play. So I think that it's just time and, and money. I think that also the circuit, like the professional circuit, is really important to, let's, uh, to let know the people what is paddle. So I think that in five years, everywhere we will be. In my club, there were paddle courts since I was a kid. So I already played before, before I quit tennis. I knew the sport and I really like it, but I couldn't practice as, I, as, as much as I want because I was playing tennis. So when I quit tennis, I was not doing anything of a sport. And then after a month, I was like, I need the competition. So I started to play paddleball. Paddle is really social. So like people really like it because it's a, a sport that like after you play you start like a conversation with the with the with your partner with the opponents and the stuff for, for the amateur I think that is really uh, this point that makes the, the sport to to make it like really really nice sport and also the thing is that for the woman is really important because uh, it's a sport really easy to start I think that. This sport, paddle, has everything to have the combination to, to be like amateur or professional. And also, the, I think that the professional, the, you have the men that is like a show because uh, what they do is like almost impossible. And the woman, uh, we make like uh, what the amateur, they can arrive to do. So I think that everything, all this is a, combi a perfect combination. Mm -hmm.